Gigi. You proud well, of yourself? Well, that ended it pretty quick. Proud of your little mess. Fuck's sake. Fuck off, hands. Hold on a minute. Hans, is it? Hans just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. He's not gonna know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know. Including me. Yeah, I like Clever it. He plays eyes. the perfect scumwork. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written in You're it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! You shouldn't have messed with that. Don't even think about it. Look, Georgie, why don't you just tell me where the book is? Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Okay. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's I'll take guilty. I'll violent ones from now on. Fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, mate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit. Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Appointment book, huh? Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage, I give them music, I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths and Joneses and Mr. X types. <laughs> Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I love the business, if... take my cut, and I'm out. If now, keep I've had quite place. enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello, business office.
Yeah, that's right. Georgie. I want to talk to the deputy mayor. Let's go this way. Eighties brick style phone. Yep. been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. Faith. Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily, well that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Mm. Alright, what else do we have? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. Somebody else said that to me on the way in. I guess we're all surprised. Yeah, yeah, it does take place around that era there. Very retro vibe to it, I love it. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. My We're name safe is Nerissa. From the void. <laughs> well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number, but where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips. Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? What exactly are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Oh, I see. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. I'm kind of broke. Wait here cough, for a cough, second. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. You'll think of something, yeah. Open arms. Hmm. Like, this go over three met. doors. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> I hope you find what you're looking for.
much disgusted face whenever, whenever he told her that he was broke. I feel like if I would have said pay her, he would have come up empty in his pockets anyway. So I just wanted to cut around that one. <laughs> Late evening. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, uh, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh. Oh, yes, the... the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. I could be a total dick tongue, yeah. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. <clears throat> I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Have you seen Snow White down here? Or maybe somebody glamoured as her? You know, it's funny. I I'm sure they, re I'm sure they recycle a lot of their like voice her, actors. But she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. That won't be hard? <laughs> I can imagine. Listen, Bigby, I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Thanks. I appreciate it. Well, here we are. Which one was it?
You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. Please. Ugh, <sighs> fine. No, she didn't need a lot of convincing. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? Big B? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, Beast. I promise I'm not. I'm helping him. That's all. I'll bet! I'm sure you help each other just great! Beast, stop this. Right now. This isn't the way to handle things. What do you know? You don't have anybody! What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife! Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm mad. Uh, hey. Bastard! I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. We don't have to do this. Just calm down and... Beast. What the hell do you think you're doing? You aren't even listening to me! I'm not very happy. That's She's my wife, Big B! I told you! Stop! Please! Leave him be! This is my fault! Is this? Big B. Look what you did to the door! You can't just act like this whenever Stand you- Stand back! You you don't want to see this. Shit. What is it? Oh! Oh my god! Don't touch anything. Is this is this? Lily met her client here. Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah? I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? It just seemed like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later, okay? Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I'm catching this up now. Bigby, what kind of a person could do something like this? That's exactly what I'm about to try to find out. I can't believe this. Do all the rooms have these same clocks with the built-in cassette player? I think so, yes. We shouldn't even be in here. Looks like she was lying down when she was 
killed. Flowers are already here. How do you know that? Blood pattern. Also, I'd say the body was dragged off the foot of the bed. There. The body. Jesus. You could say she. Poor girl. I just can't even imagine. Smell something? No, just apple. It's a huff and puff. I thought you were the only one who smoked that crap brand. Apparently <laughs> not. What is that? It's a book about Snow White. Or about the Mundy version of her story, anyway. The whole book is about her? Yeah. Huh. What is it? I think the apple is part of his fantasy about Snow White. That would explain the one we found on the floor. Oh no, do you think it was poisoned? It wasn't. I'd have smelled that. I think it's just a prop. It's here because they were acting out the scene in the book. Of course. That makes perfect sense. They were acting out the thing with her stepmother and the apple. Which is really creepy when you think about it. You know she almost died when... Uh... Why is she in a glass coffin? This is the part where she's in a deep sleep, but they think she's dead. Hmm. Oh no. Stalker what? Over. Yeah. What is it? I think he made up the bed to match the coffin in the picture. Flowers, too. He'd have had Lily lie down just like this. You mean just before? In the story, that's when someone comes to kiss her. That's our Mr. Smith. This is just bizarre. This guy really has a thing about snow. It's like pathological. I'm getting that feeling, yes. Oh my god, that poor girl. She couldn't have known. She probably just needed the money. She could have been anyone. How did she wind up here? I mean, not exactly here, but just how does a person... Sounds like there was a series of choices involved. I'm sure she'd have done things differently if she knew where things were headed. Yeah. She must have been so scared. Where's the outfit? Rough with this dress. It's torn. Oh no. She must have been wearing it. He killed her and then and then he took it back off. No, there's no blood on it. It must have been torn some other time. Oh no, there's more? What? What now? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play. We found Lily wearing something else, tailored after one of Snow's suits. It's possible that the dress is actually for Mr. Smith himself. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. But I guess a Snow White fixation could go that way too. God, I'm just having trouble processing all of this. This guy has some kind of weird snow obsession, but then there's this other stuff too. I mean, he's wearing that dress. I'm just not sure what to do with that. I hope you're just about through. I don't really want to stay in here any longer. I 
there's a manila envelope. of stalking, it doesn't just stop by itself. Trust me, I know about this firsthand. He'll keep trying to get closer and closer. His stand-in for Snow is gone now, so... The next step <laughs> What is it? It's <gasps> Crane. the tape. <laughs> that was the end of the that was the end of that second. He could chapter. be after you now. Good. I am dying to get my hands on that disgusting weasel. Really starting to like you, Sheriff. You're not afraid to be a complete bastard. Obviously, there will have to be some changes. I am gonna shave your skin off one sheet at a time. Take care of it, Bigby, or I'll take care of it for you. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? Yeah. 